Hi everyone and welcome to my Blu-ray collection video as of the 15th of September 2017. Now I've wanted to do one of these for a while but I'm always either collecting new Blu-rays or replacing ones I already own but now that I've uh, basically filled up my entire uh, shelf I thought now would be a good time to do a Blu-ray collection video so yeah let's get to it and also I do have some Blu-ray stacked on top of my other ones so I'll be getting through them first so they don't get in my way so let's get to it the Amazing Spider-Man. Watched this again recently, not as bad as I remember. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, only Onyx has Spider-Man in the title. 17 again. 21 Jump Street. The 40-year-old Virgin. Disney's A Christmas Carol. AI Artificial Intelligence. Back to the Future Trilogy. First one's a classic, second one's crap, third one's better. Batman the Movie, Rip Haddon West. Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, now we're into the Dark Knight trilogy, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, Batman Assault on Arkham, better Suicide Squad movie than Suicide Squad, Batman the Five Blu-ray Animated Collection, which includes Mystery of the Batwoman, Batman Bad Blood, Under the Red Hood, Gotham Knight, and Year One. Here's a little trivia for you. The Bad Blood is actually supposed to be, um, what was it, Mask of the Phantasm, but because it weren't out on Blu-ray at the time, they had to put Bad Blood in there, but I have got the DVD of that because that film's just badass. And I think they have actually released that on Blu-ray now, so that's good. Batman the Killing Joke, got the gift set limited edition box set here, that's pretty cool. Film's a bit of a disappointment though, considering the graphic novel was so good. Son of Batman. Birdman. Blade Runner, the final cut. Bleed for this. The Born Identity. The Born Supremacy. Born Automatum, actually haven't seen this yet. Breaking Bad the final season, this was a really good price, this was 75 pence, so that's just amazing, for a whole season. Bridesmaids, probably one of the most dis overrated comedies I've ever seen to be honest. Deadpool, to be honest, even if Marvel did have the rights to this character, I don't think they'd be able to make a film better than this. District 9. Chronicle. Click, my favourite Adam Sandler movie. Daredevil. Now this movie gets a bad rap, but honestly I love this film, especially the director's cut. But also Daredevil is one of my favourite superheroes of all time, so I'm kind of biased. Plus look at this slip cover, it's just beautiful. Danny Darko. The Family Guy Star Wars Trilogy. Fanboys. Fantastic Four. Kind of crappy film, but nostalgia and it is a superhero film. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Now, I actually was very disappointed in this movie because I just don't like Ferris Bueller as a character at all. But, you know, I guess, you know, it's his film. The Fighter. Haven't seen this in a while. First Blood, or as I like to call it, the only Rambo film. Four Christmases. Game to the Greek. Spin-off off for Getting Sarah Marshall. Ghost Rider. Like a Fantastic Four. Not a great film, but still nostalgia and it is a superhero film. Goodfellas, Scorsese classic. Indiana Jones, Complete Adventures. Goodwill Hunting, classic. Hacksaw Ridge, great performance by Andrew Garfield. Hardcore Henry, an interesting film experience to say the least. Harry Potter 1 through 5 collection, which includes Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and yeah that's that and then we've got the last three separately Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince Harry Potter and the Death Hallows Part 1 and Harry Potter and the Death Hallows Part 2 Hancock The Harry Hill Movie, Don't Ask The Lego Movie, The Lego Batman Movie, Can't Wait for Lego Ninjago Movie, I Am Legend, Pretty Good Will Smith Movie, Minus the CGI Zombies, The Inbetweeners Movie, Love the TV Show, Love the Film, 
The In Between Us 2, one of the most entertaining comedies I've ever seen. I really hope to make a third one, make it a trilogy. Inception. Inside Out, a good but overrated Pixar film. Jumper. The Karate Kid, maybe like one of my top 20 favourite films of all time. The Karate Kid remake, not as good as the original, but much better than you'd think. Kick-Ass. The King of Comedy, an, un an overlooked Scorsese film. Les Miserables, haven't seen this yet, but I will do eventually. The Lion King, one of the best animated films of all time. The Lion King 2, a worthy follow-up to the first one, I think. I think it should have gone straight to cinemas, not to DVD. It's really good. But Lion King 1 and a half was pants, though. Or Lion King 3, depends on what you want to call it. Right, now we're getting into my Marvel Cinematic Universe collection, so brace yourself. Starting off with Iron Man, one of my favourite superhero movies, and still my favourite MCU film. Daredevil Season 1. Daredevil Season 2. Just finished watching the Netflix series, Can't Wait for Punisher. The Incredible Hulk, a criminally underrated superhero movie. I thought this film was awesome. Iron Man 2. Thor. Captain America, the first Avenger. Avengers Assemble. That movie looks great in 3D, by the way. Iron Man 3. Thor the Dark World. Captain America the Winter Soldier blew my mind first time I saw it. Guardians of the Galaxy. Avengers Age of Ultron. Ant-Man. Captain America Civil War on 3D. I don't have a 3D player but this cover is just awesome so I have to get it. Doctor Strange. And Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Planet of the Apes Primal Collection, really good collection. When World of Planet of the Apes comes out, I'll probably buy the collection and that's in as well. My final MCU property thing is Jessica Jones Season 1. Monsters Inc., my second favourite Pixar movie, just behind Toy Story. Mortal Kombat, pretty crappy movie, but still the best video game movie we've had in my opinion. Oh, and by the way, I saw the trailer for Tomb Raider Stay and it looks like crap. Mrs. Brown's Poister movie, I'm a fan of the TV show, so I'm going to own this. Nightcrawler, great performance by Jake Gyllenhaal. Paul, pretty funny uh, Simon Pegg film. I won't mind getting the Cornetto trilogy either. Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, don't watch Sheriff Monsters, it's complete crap. Perks being a Wallflower, I ordered this online and I didn't realise they didn't have a cover, so I just actually used one of my own. Peter K. Live, British icon. Phone Booth, a really good claustrophobic thriller. You won't think that the same guy who directed Batman and Robin directed this. Power Rangers, I was pretty disappointed the first time I watched this film to be honest, but at the same time I want a sequel, so it's done something right. Psycho, this actually came in a blue cover, but I swapped it with my Deadpool case and I think it looks pretty good. Rage and Ball, my second favourite Scorsese film, classic. Now we're getting on to probably my favourite shelf in my collection. The original Star Wars Trilogy. If you haven't seen this movie, then you probably live under a rock. Star Wars Prequel Trilogy. I actually love this movie, so sue me. Rocky the Heavyweight Collection, which includes... Rocky, one of the greatest films ever made. Rocky 2. Rocky 3. Rocky 4. Rocky 5. This is actually a good movie, and I'll defend that statement to my death. Rocky Balboa and the Rocky spin-off Creed I love this movie but mark my words the sequel is going to be pants Role Models Room not to be confused with The Room but that movie is also a masterpiece Silence the most recent Scorsese movie it's got Pilgrim vs the World one of the most creative movies I've seen to say the least Shutter Island and Super 8 Shutter Island is another one of my favourite Scorsese movies, and Super 8 was alright. Spider-Man 1, my favourite superhero movie, and favourite movie of all time. Spider-Man 2, don't like it as much as the first one, but this is still one of the greatest superhero movies in my opinion. 
and Spider-Man 3. Let's move on. A new Hope Feminist Edition. Rogue One, an unnecessary story. Star Wars A Clone Wars, not as good as a TV show obviously, but I actually quite like this movie. Star Wars Rebel Season 1 Steelbook. The Superman Motion Picture Anthology, which includes Superman the Movie, Superman 2, Superman 2 The Richard Donner Cut, Superman 3, Superman 4 The Quest of Peace, and Superman Returns. And no more Superman movies were ever made. The Tarantino Collection, which includes Inglorious Bastards, Port Fiction, Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, Reservoir Dogs, Jackie Brown, True Romance, and Death Proof. And the two Tarantino movies aren't in there, I've got right here. Django Unchained, and The Hateful Eight. Alright, we've made it to the final shelf. Starting with Titanic 3D. Like with Civil War, I don't have a 3D player, but this cover is just awesome. Taxi Driver 35th Anniversary Edition. Taxi Driver 40th Anniversary Edition. This is my favourite Scorsese movie and one of my favourite films of all time. Ted. The Terminator, better than the sequel in my opinion. Terminator 2, went to see the 3D release of this recently, really enjoyed myself. Toy Story, my favourite Pixar movie. Tropic Thunder. Unbreakable, one of the few actually good M. Night Shyamalan movies. West Side Story. The War for Wall Street, a good but overrated Scorsese film to be honest. X-Men, the HMV exclusive slipcase, just like Daredevil. X-Men 2. And X-Men The Last Stand. This is probably a controversial statement, but I think Last Stand is my favourite X-Men movie. Sorry. So yeah, that was my Blu-ray collection. There are actually quite a few Blu-rays downstairs, but they don't actually belong to me, so... Yeah, I'll have a look at them anyway. Alright, let's get a look at these. Face off, this isn't actually ours, we're just borrowing it. What we've got here... Tangled. Got a couple of seasons of The Walking Dead right there. Got a couple of seasons of Entourage. Got Heroes behind there. Couple of seasons of Mad Men. Warrior. Haven't seen this yet, but I would like to. Brothers. Bear Wolf and Grendel. Bear Wolf Director's Cut. E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Fifty Shades of Grey, an essential to any Blu-ray collection, obviously. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. New Moon. The Mummy, no, that, not that Tom Cruise crap. Ten Commandments, haven't watched this yet, but it is supposed to be epic. Bram Stoker's Dracula Steelbook, this is pretty cool. Total Recall Remake, we haven't watched this yet and I don't think I'm going to really. Shrek Steelbook, I personally like the sequel more but this is still a really good film. Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. Now we're on to the Disney collection. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, classic. Pinocchio. Cinderella. Robin Hood, got the Little Mermaid films here, Little Mermaid 1, let's get that out of the way, Little Mermaid 2, I actually quite like this film to be honest, Little Mermaid 3, Ariel's Beginning, now this movie was shit, let's put that back, Beauty and the Beast, the live action Beauty and the Beast remake. I actually like this movie, so yeah, I know it's controversial, but I do. Pocahontas, haven't seen this movie either, but I would like to. Fight Club, classic. Life of Pi. The Martian. The Revenant, the film that finally won Leo and Oscar. Got the Alien Quadrilogy here, I bought this to, as, to my mum as a gift. Got Alien vs Predator, Alien vs Predator 2 Requiem, Prometheus, 
and Alien Covenant. I went, actually went to cinema to see this and I really liked it. I don't really get all the controversy, to be honest. Predator Trilogy, haven't seen 2 and 3, but I might do one day. Got Homeland Season 1 and 2. Cleopatra. And last, South Pole. So yeah, that was all the Blu-rays in my house. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment if you wish. And I'll see you next time, guys.